All right, this is just a reminder of how to do error checking. Um, so we're going to look back at the sample program that we typed. Um, we have their name, we have a student number, and we want to error check our student number. Now, typically when we error check, we're trying to make sure that the number's not negative. Um, so we'll do an if-then statement or something just to make sure that they didn't type in a negative number. So here I'm doing an error check for the number to make sure it's not negative, which is less than zero. So if the number is negative, then I want to output some sort of message. So I'm outputting please enter a positive number, and then I'm re-entering my input. So what happens is, again, if I type in a positive number, it's going to skip this part of the program. But if I type in a negative number, this, this is going to come up to be true, and it will do this part of the program. And I'm doing the same thing for the cost. If they enter a negative cost, I'm going to error check it. So if the cost is negative, it will do all of this in the program. But if it's positive, it will skip all of that and come straight down here to the next thing in the program. So the advantage of the error checking right now is that I can just make sure that they didn't type any negative numbers. Uh, right now, they could actually type two negative numbers and the program would continue on. Um, so let's see what happens when we run this. So uh, it's not possible to really che error check the name because names or any kind of characters so you could possibly type different things but so we have our name and then for our student number I'm going to type negative 20, 124 or sorry 123 and notice here it says please enter a positive student number so I entered a negative and it's prompting me to enter something positive so here for the cost I'm going to type in negative 23.56 and again, it's saying, please enter a positive cost. So I can type in 23.56, and everything came out fine. Uh, and what I was saying a minute ago is that if you actually typed in a negative number twice, so if I, was, if I typed in negative 1, 2, 3, 4, and I wasn't paying attention, and I typed it in again, um, the computer would accept it and so it would keep going and what we will learn eventually is how to avoid that with loops um, but right now we can't do that so I hope this helps